Okay, YouTube. So, after doing a little bit of work and research, you're all going to have to start doing research, seriously, because you can't sit around with what's happening in the world, the conjunction of all the prophecies that have ever been written, and not be interested in it. So, I'm just going to go through a few things I found recently, which seem to be happening. Uh, okay, let's first check out the sun. It's very interesting. He's going to talk about the fact that we're waking up from this small solar minimum cycle. Um, what will be interesting is to talk about the Maunda minimum. So the Maunda minimum, I'm not sure when that's going to come. I have to do some more research. But when the Maunda minimum does come, perhaps in about 10 years, we're all going to have to be ready, prepared for how that's going to affect our planet. And we will have to work together. So we've got about 10 years to get our crap together. Let's have a look at this video quick. Folks, we've got fewer stories today, but we'll dive deeper into them. We've also got the sun not only waking up, but stretching out with a big yawn. Maybe you caught it here in the opening. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, and the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are both calm and quiet, but an active region over the limb put on a bit of a show top left. Now, advanced viewers can use Stereo A to go see that it actually began firing smaller eruptions back on the 25th, but today, it turned enough for us to see the action and catch some of the X-ray flux from the event. Minor B-class range from over the side. This eruption was pretty and produced visible ejecta on Soho Lasco C2 here, but it was still not a generally large eruption as we come back to the major uptick from 2001. The truth is that this is how sunspot minimum ends. Little jolts that perk you up to what's coming, which of course is this. So I very much like this channel to watch. It's really good to follow the weather and follow the sun especially. And it's true physics and plasma and electrical physics behind the sun. Very interesting stuff. Suspicious observers. And a very good narrator as well. Yeah. Um, another one is Thor News. T-H-O-R. Thor News. I really like watching him. He's quite good. Fun. He's a funny chap. Very funny chap. Lovely chap. Next one we've got is X-22 Report. This one talks about Q all the time, talks about Trump, talks about what's happening uh, with the deep state cabal, fake news, fake media. And uh, let's have a quick uh, clip of this one, where we are with uh, gold and the new gold-backed US dollar. This tells you that Trump has control over the markets. Gold is continually moving up. There's a reason for that. We need to watch gold. Q has told us that gold is going to destroy the Fed. And once again, we know that this fiat currency is not going to last forever. Now, we know the mainstream media, they're going to continually push the idea that this economy is not going to recover. They're going to do it until the very end. But what's very interesting is that Former President Jason Furman, who's the top economist in the Obama administration, he was out there saying the economy looks like it's going to improve. The economy might bounce back like we've never seen before. He said consumption and hiring started to tick up in gross terms, not in net terms. Okay, so... Yeah, he goes on. Now, America is uh, importing lots and lots of gold from Switzerland these days, um, which should obviously point to this gold-backed currency coming into plan versus China's uh, electronic cryptocurrency. So I think if you're going to be on board with crypto, you're probably going to be on board with China more so than the United States next video i wanted to have a look at is uh, china's war plan this was a very interesting uh, very interesting clip from news x talks about china the rise of power the rise of their economy uh, if i can i'm just going to pause the video to have a look okay let's check out this video china's 2021 war plan a little bit late to be finding out about this let's hope that china is a little bit more peaceful than some people are saying I've got some people on the inside of China and I understand that uh, when you go to China, you do become a little bit China biased and you start to like the country. It's something that happens on a deep subconscious level. 
I've experienced it myself and uh, I got our friends there very very well connected and they are saying that uh, yeah America is being quite forceful but I also see China being quite forceful let's hope there can be peace at the end of all of this just have a quick look at this video has been doing some have been very subtle but some not so very subtle things uh, over the years that China has been uh, doing you know that's going to give them the push that they need China has a very simple aim and this is why the 2021 context is going to become very important because that simple aim will be distilling itself within 365 days by July next year. And the simple aim is that they want to dominate everything. So the, it's not like it's happened, not happened before. The Europeans dominated the world for 200 years. The Americans dominated the world mostly after 1945 where they were the senior partner to even, in, even Europe and completely after 1991. So the Chinese want the same thing for themselves. Now what are they doing? Everything. Seeing what's happening with the WHO, why is it under so much criticism from the rest of the global community? Because China has a preponderating influence in WHO, the UN at large, at the World Bank, the Asia Infrastructure Bank, which is an alternative to the IMF system that the Chinese want to set up, the Asia Infrastructure Bank, something that they completely control. Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, which has been set up, they are making an effort to, uh, to dump their dollars. China is sitting on trillions of dollars, some of it directly in their foreign exchange reserves. They want to dump their dollars and use that money to purchase assets. So which is why they've been giving out dollar loans to every country. How does it work? Simply, you give the Sri Lankans $1 billion loan, right, in dollar currency. The Sri Lankans can't pay you back, so you take over Haman Tota. So you get a port and you've gotten rid of the dollars which you're having because they are hedging and betting that the dollar will no longer remain the world's reserve currency. They want the yuan, the renminbi, the RMB to become the globe's re reserve currency. The reason the Americans can keep on printing dollars and not worry about the deficit is because the gold standard was dumped 30, 40 years ago and now it is the uh, American dollar which is the reserve currency of the world. There will always be a demand anywhere in the world for American dollars. Anywhere you travel, if you're carrying dollars, you can convert them. Simple as that. The Chinese want the RMB to be like that by 2021. Xi Jinping's, what he calls the Chinese dream. He wants China to be restored to the Middle Kingdom. When China was the dominant scientific, trade, geopolitical power in the world. That's how the Chinese see themselves. And they want to return there economically, through trade, through science, through technology. So just have a look at the logic. If you want to dominate trade, technology, government, science and defense. You brew the Belt and Road Initiative. China is already the largest trading partner with most of the countries in the world. The, BNR, B, the, the BRO then becomes, makes China the hub of global trade. That whatever trade is happening around the world is happening either through or with China, simply and directly. So the, so the Belt and Road Initiative is part of that. Technology. China is one of the world leaders in AI. Huawei has the best 5G technology right now. They are maybe years ahead of the Europeans uh, and Samsung, which are the nearest competitors. Uh, big data. Chinese companies uh, own so many of the top, or have stakes in at least, so many of the top data, data creating companies uh, here in India. Think of Paytm. Uh, think of Swiggy. Uh, many of them have Chinese company stakes. So get into big data because big data feeds the AI. In government, they want the Chinese model of government to be the preeminent model, which is why you see suddenly the world is going crazy about the Chinese being able to build a hospital in 10 days. Most of the countries can do that if required. We put together 2 lakh hospital bed beds uh, in, in, in a similar amount of time. But the Chinese, they sell it very hard because they want to legitimize their government system that look, our government system is not only good for us, it's the ideal system. This uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping's uh, socialism with Chinese characteristic model, that this is the best welfare and liberal capitalist model, this is at the actual end of history of Fukuyama, this is what the global model should be, so copy our governance model as well. About 18 months ago, uh, Xi Jinping began a total remodernization of the, of the PLA, which means they cut down on the land army, increased, uh, 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 increased naval size, air force size, because those are the, the high-tech fighting wings. So this is a total domination plan, and they want to report back on the total domination plan, plan to the people of China, 
in 2021 on the 21st of July so that they can tell the legitimacy of Xi Jinping and the Politburo and the Chinese communist system relies on them telling their people that for 100 years ours has been the best model and look at how much we've delivered therefore we should be here for another 100 years because at the very least the Chinese want to go and tell the people of 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 their, their people next July in 2021 that number one South China Sea sort it it's ours and if we don't already have Taiwan then at least we are in a position where we can say that by this date Taiwan will rejoin like in Hong Kong that by so and so date China will have rejoined with us so this is the push that is taking place it's a global push it's life or death for Xi Jinping let's face it he would have had a massive personal credibility loss. The CCP would have a personal credibility loss, not globally, but within China also, with what's happened in coronavirus. So th that's why they're lying. Estimates could be that 8 million people have died. Okay, that's the number of Chinese SIM cards that have gone on inoperational in the past three or four months. So, and they're telling us 3,000 people have died. 3,000, 8 million. Then suddenly one night they realize, no, no, 50% more people have actually died. So yes, they will lie. Okay. They will, they will misrepresent the truth, to put it chari charitably, to protect, their own uh, uh, to protect their own reputations within the country and to keep the, the world lulled. They kept the world lulled, which allowed the virus to spread. Perhaps they uh, uh, had the WHO do their bidding. Who knows? Or they simply lied to the WHO. Whatever it, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The end result is what mattered. The Chinese managed to successfully, one has to say, ensure that the virus went to every single country in the world and cause much greater devastation in other countries than it did in their own country. Okay? So Xi Jinping wants to be able to come back after a few months and say, look, we handled the coronavirus crisis better than any other country. We reclaimed the South China Sea. We doubled the GDP from 2020 as promised. We have achieved our 60% urbanization rate. Uh, perhaps we have a clear plan of when Taiwan will rejoin us. And this is how successful the Chinese Communist Party has been. So which is why, Devika, for the next one year, we have to be acute, not like a normal time we shouldn't be, but we acutely suspicious of everything China does, every move it's making, because it's going to scam and loot the world, be very aggressive even militaristically, to ensure that in 2021 they can prove to themselves that the communist way of doing things, the socialism with Chinese characteristics, is the best way of doing things in the world. And it is as ideological, as geopolitical, as real politic as it gets. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, so, yeah, I'm calm. Everything's good. <laughs> uh, it seems that we have huge power struggles. We're going to be faced with now deciding what happens to economy. How does economy change with the reintroduction of Nisara Jisara, things like that. How do politically, how does things change? And are we going to follow a communist model? Are we going to follow a... Because uh, actually, if you look at Nassar it's, it's actually pretty communist. Uh, there are some good points in communism. It's not all bad. So there may well have to be a mix between communism and democracy as we move ahead. Um, a lot of power struggles coming into view now. So as you can see, quite obvious. Let's hope that there are some people within all these countries that are more peaceful. What they don't cover in this video is the gold-backed US dollar and the plans that the US is making to protect our peaceful future. Um, so, without further ado, let us go on to... Alright, next up we've got one of the best uh, yeah, she's a QAnon follower, one of the best ones that we have at the moment, doing her hardest to keep up to date with all the news. She's called Freedom Force Battalion. And uh, yeah, we've got another power change coming into our hands now since the Queen has actually been dethroned. Their coat of arms has actually been changed and she will just take us through a little bit of that. So this is the newest thing. The queen, and I posted this on here. Let me see. I posted this. The fake queen has been dethroned. Has been dethroned. <laughs> I need to learn how to type. Um, that she's been dethroned. And you're like, okay, how do I how do I prove that? Well, first of all, they're not going to come out on the news to tell you that. 
that we know that they're not going to say it on the news. They're not going to, you know, because they're still trying to find some way in the world to, to not, you know, to come out with the truth. Okay. So how do we put it all together? Right. And so we look for clues just like with Q the, and the Q has been so good for us because it's forced us to think he asks us questions and it forces us to think. Right. And so look at this picture. And before you would see the queen in all of her garb and all of her royal titles, you know, with, with all the jewelry that would be fitting a queen, okay, royalty. And you might be thinking, well, I don't want a queen anyway. This is the truth. If you're, it's a newsflash, if you're, I've got a red pill incoming, if you're not, if you didn't know this, we have been under the queen's authority since 1871, if not before that. So they changed our constitution and we went under a corporation and every nickel that you ever paid in income tax has gone directly to the queen. Sorry, I have to tell you that, but she's been our queen, whether we liked it or not, you know, and it's whether we knew it or not. And that's the, that's the issue is that we've been lied to in a thousand different ways. So she was wearing all this garb and the, and the, and the, the crown and this fancy necklace thingy, whatever. And so now, and he had on all this fancy stuff and now look at them. They're just dressed up in a fancy hat, whatever, and in, in, in the coat and tails, but not their royal garb. And we saw this weird thing. Remember when the president went over and he was, he was examining the military and Charles is walking behind him. The queen is walking behind him. So we know, we know by looking, that's how we know. We look at the actions, not necessarily the words. Same thing you do with, with your relationships. You, you look at someone's actions. They speak louder than words, and they really, really do. All right. So, yeah, QE2. Remember that? Those who, who have been part of quantitative easing where they said, oh, well, we're the banks are going to fail, so we're going to have to do quantitative easing. We're going to have to... To, to, to do this big loan. And so it was on our backs that all this money went to the bankers. Guess what QE2 stands for? Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II. I was like, how do we not know that? How okay, so that was pretty cool information there. Yeah. So there's a lot going on. And it's been happening for a long time, actually, that we didn't even notice because uh, Trump came over a long time ago and it already happened at that time. Since then, they've been in hiding, I think, in a different place. They're not actually, I don't think, allowed to be in their palace anymore. They have to be somewhere else, not allowed in Buckingham. Um, yeah, and thanks to a person who may or may not be in the lineage of Jesus Christ. Um, so let's have a look at the next video. So here we're going to go into a little bit about King of dot UK, the King of UK, King of dot UK. Yes, he has a YouTube channel. Jesus has a YouTube channel. Christ. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, let's have a little bit of a listen to this guy. He's going to talk about war and how war is kind of a manufactured method of uh, controlling the economy and the people. Very interesting to listen to this guy. It's just a PR exercise written by the winner of the war. And most of the leaders of the militaries and opposing militaries have each other's phone numbers during that war. And um, it's all a collusion. And the collusion is to put a country into war, which is the most expensive thing a country can do, and uh, borrow a huge amount of money from the central bank and then send their own citizens out to be killed, like the British leader will send British citizens out to be killed and the German leader will send German citizens out to be killed and the Russian leader will send Russian citizens out to be killed. And each one of those deaths has a value in the International Bank of Settlements. And um, uh, they are then cashed in to fund the war. And the uh, winner of the war 
pays the war debts of the loser of the war. So no one wants to win the war or end the war. And in the case of World War II, um, Hitler had won the war. There was like no war for nine months. Hitler rushed in in two weeks and had all of Britain, uh, all of the British forces in Europe um, trapped at Dunkirk. And Hitler allowed them to escape because the war had to continue. And if Germany won the war, they would have um, uh, have to pay the war debts of England. And Germany hadn't had enough of its own citizens killed to pay back its loans. So, this is how war works. Actually, every person has a value on their head, uh, which is sold at birth once you've signed your birth certificate. That's your bond entering into a market, into the market, and it's it's worth quite a lot of money. But uh, yeah, so in a in a kind of auth in inauthentic fake way, that money has to be removed from us as we work by tax, unlawful tax, and other methods of uh, getting a wealth distribution which makes the rest of the world work as hard as they can for their whole entire lives for almost nothing. Yeah. Uh, I should watch the rest of this video because it's really good, very interesting. Talks about Hitler, Stalin, Mao, Rothschild and the British royal families. We're going to get into some more interesting details now onto the next one. All right, so here we've got Raven Moonstone Art. Raven Moonstone Art. A few thousand subscribers at the moment. And she goes through the entire history in brief of the connections, the family, and all of the major events that we know and love, inclusive all conspiracy theories that we know and love. Let's have a little bit from her. Oh, because this is the worst part of my video. Okay. Here it goes. So, I'm just going to let you... Okay, right there. This is fact right here. Fact. That is out on the internet. I have seen pictures. I am haunted. Haunted. A hundred percent, a thousand percent fact right there. If you think I'm fucking making this up, I'm not. I, I can't even talk about it without crying. Anyways, I'm just going to move on to this one. Okay, now I want you to pay attention because this is where everything comes down to right here. These things right here. Why this? Why is this important? Because this is what they're using. And first of all, let's just go over the patent, where it's made. Who makes it? 3M. Hmm, I've seen that video in uh, some famous royal address lately. Look at the people involved. So this guy, we know, gave money. This guy gave money. This guy gave money. This guy owns 40% of that. He owns most of this with that guy. And look what they make there. This is the location that makes the same place as this. Look it up. Okay, so she goes into a lot in these videos. It's probably worth to download them, actually, just in case they do disappear. Uh, yeah, then you can share them, do whatever you want with them, maybe re-upload them. I'm going to add this girl on Facebook later anyway. Um, very interesting to look into that. Uh, let's uh, move on to the next one. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it is, it is true what she's talking about. There's a lot of information out there. People really need to be interested in the world they live on. Because if they're not interested in the world they live on, it's going to get messed up for the rest of us. So let's hope that people start getting interested in this kind of stuff. Yeah, reality is a hard bullet to bite. It's a very hard bullet to bite. But the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. And now it's pretty much like it's all coming out anyway. So if you didn't bite it already, it's kind of too late. Let's check out the next one. 
Now this was the first video that I saw, uh, Meet the New King of England. And uh, this is the first video that was posted and alluded me to what was going on. I can't believe I didn't even know about this guy before now because he's been in Monty Python stuff, alluded to in Monty Python stuff and some other things. He's been around 10 years doing what he's doing, so I can't believe we're just figuring out this now. Meet the new King of England. You might be surprised that the whole royal family is a total fake. Welcome to the new King of England. Is this person here had four daughters. One was his mother. One is Angela Merkel. The other one is Theresa May, and the other one's the Princess of Lithuania. Are you crapping your pants now? Because I certainly was. And I'm like, wow, these people are all related. They all come from the same bloodline, and they all do the same thing. What are they hiding from us? What are they hiding from us? I'll tell you the most amazing thing I discovered what they're hiding us from. Whew, you guys all ready? Are you ready now? Okay, we have a new king. How do I know this? This I'll introduce you to. It's actually, I think it's April 6th. I'm not sure of the date, so I'll have to get that corrected. So, Joseph Gregory Hallett, King John III, is now our new King of England, King of Scotland, King of Northern Ireland, Prince of Wales, King of Great Britain, King of United Kingdom of Great Britain, and Northern Ireland, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and all of Ireland, King of New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and the Commonwealth of Nations, and the titular Prince Regent Duke, Governor of North America. Now, you can go on to kingof.uk and confirm this in the documents that I'm going to break down for you all to see. Once I break them down, I... I implore you to do your own research and follow your own white rabbit, okay? Yeah, this is super important that she's talking about right now that we should be doing our own research and the awareness really is something more special than people can realize. Awareness, when your body is in pain, it brings your awareness to the area of pain for a reason. The reason is to be healed. When the earth is in pain, somebody's going to bring our awareness to that problem so that we can be healed globally. The earth can be healed. I think Cyrus A. Paza was right when he said that we need to bring our awareness to China. Not to hurt it, but to love it so that we can heal it. And this is how nature works. It is one thing that works together. It's a, it's a system that works together. It wouldn't want to attack itself. That would just be insanity. We, there's no reason for humanity to want to be attacking itself, i.e. each other. We should be focusing our attention, consciousness, healing efforts, by focusing our attention on these parts so this is yeah this is important let's check out the next video all right this next video uh, contains some information and a meditation free meditation from etienne this is very very important that the world knows what is up with 5d the 5d shift uh, of our new earth into 5d we have been forgetting something. We've been forgetting, or at least we've been focusing on something wrongly. We've been biased. We've been focused, especially the light workers of the world. So we need to remember God, to be honest. We need to remember 12D and higher, not just 5D. So this is a channel by Drago Kulik. This uh, video is fantastic. Everybody should listen to this and take part in this very powerful meditation. Let's hear Etienne talk. On 
um, like shifting the 4D consciousness grid that most people are stuck into and to, to like break that 4D grid so that light energy workers can, can, can go into 5D, 6D, like opening up the space for those higher energies. Because every, like for the past couple of years, the main challenge, not the Draco, not the, not, not the dark force, the main challenge has been the false light matrix people that they, they think they have a lot of knowledge, but they're operating in 4D, 5D, and actively blocking anything that is 6D and above. And that has been the number one problem towards ascension for the past three, four years. Okay, so what he said was super important. And it basically means that our awareness of the entire situation is not good. We've been focused on the wrong thing. You can focus on something nice and fluffy and, and light to make you happy. You know, like it's like you could focus on chocolate because chocolate makes you happy and it's nice and sweet and love is sweet, light is sweet and it's very safe. But we don't live in a safe world, and especially if we're ignorant to what is happening, we definitely do not live in a safe world. We have to be aware of our body, aware of what's happening, aware of the world, aware of the energies, how they work, so that once they're within our awareness, they're a little bit more within our control. And it's time to really break through that. And doing a group meditation like that, it, it's really... I mean, I think we can really, really make a major, major, major difference. We have an opportunity right now, and I want to take like 20 minutes doing a group meditation to like break that blockade, like that 5-6-D blockade, and open up the space to, into the higher dimensions and creating containers so that we can grow. Okay. All right, so have a look at that. Two hours, 14 minutes. They're going to start a meditation, and it's very powerful. I've been through the meditation myself. It still works now because there is no time time is timeless uh, so you can join in that meditation anytime you like uh, next video i'm going to go on to is one of my favorite uh happy people on the internet for some positive energy to finish off this video uh, here she is bracker smith the wonder that is bracker goldsmith 294 subscribers she talks about astrology and she's one of the best of the best Hi everybody, welcome. And on the 4th or 5th of June, depending where in the world you live, we've got a lunar eclipse coming up at 15 degrees and 33 minutes of Sagittarius. So we're beginning the eclipse season. We start with a Sag eclipse. A couple of weeks later, we've got a really powerful zero degrees cancer eclipse. And after that, a couple of weeks after that, another lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So what's this about? Well, the first thing would be very valuable for you to find out where in your chart are these eclipses coming. So if you can find where you've got Gemini and Sagittarius and also Cancer and Capricorn, you can see which life areas are going to be most affected for you. If you can, you she's amazing. I encourage people to watch her show. Um, yeah, she's very positive and very fair, and she also does channeling as well. Um, lastly, just to share the website of the king of the UK. Uh, you can all go on and see this anyway. It may be a little bit busy because a lot of people yeah, will be trying to access it. Uh, <laughs> but um, if you can't access it, I'm sure it will, will be back up very soon. Yeah, it's too late. I'm sure we'll be back up very soon anyway, and uh, there will be people who have already got all the files from there. Um, it is a huge piece of information to undertake, but with the Nesara Jesara coming back into being, this is a very good thing. The rest of what we have to 
face, I think we have to follow a lot more of these spiritual people and a lot more of these intuitive people who are seeing where we're going and a little bit like the looking glass. They can see a little bit into the future and as we're being drip-fed information slowly, they're getting hold of it and putting it out there so that you can see what will be happening next. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe so I can annoy you in the future. Just uh, if you want to do that, go ahead. Thanks, everyone.